Yes, uh, so welcome to Vasily's Garden. Now, folks, if you love your garden and you just don't have the time to actually garden, well, I've got the solution for you. We've come out to... Highton in Geelong. That's right, we're in Highton, Geelong here, and I've got Kirsty here, who's going to talk to us all about her passion in gardening. How are you? I am. Hi, Vasily. Thank you for coming Thank you to for having garden. me. Thank I'm you for so having me. I'm so excited to have Thank you here. You. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> How long have you been here? We've been here for six years. Yep. So we moved from the Yarra Ranges in Melbourne. Wow, what a change. Yeah. <laughs> what took you out of there to bring you here? Um, my husband got a job here okay. locally. So yeah. we moved here and then um, have been raising our boys here. Yeah. And we had nothing in this backyard when we came here. So it was, it was a dream for me because I could just start from scratch. It's all about gardening for you, is it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> That's my life. That's it. <laughs> so you basically grow everything here for your kitchen too? We do. Yep. 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 So in summer, we grow about $240 a month's worth of produce. So oh, shop... you've done the numbers on this show. Yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> so we shop for veg, um, for fruit because yeah. I can't keep my kids' lunch yeah. boxes full enough with fruit. Our trees, um, I'll yeah. show you some later, yeah. they're only small still. Yeah. But um, as many veggies as I possibly can. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, let's not waste any more time. Take me for a tour. Okay. This is great. Now, tell me about this place. When you first got here, Yes. was this here? No, this area was falling apart. It was just sandy, rocky dirt, okay. and the wall was collapsing. Okay. So. Um, and you rebuilt it all. So you. So my it husband out. did. Yeah. Oh, your husband did. Okay. <laughs> well, he did the wall. <laughs> okay. I did all the soil. So I sifted all the rocks out. I dug it all out. I dug it to about that deep. Yeah. And just took all the rock out because it was terrible. It was all pebble and just okay. sand. Okay. Yeah. So I brought in a whole heap of compost and yep. manures. We took some soil from the backyard as well and I've just built it up over time. What do you call this area? Oh, Let's have a look at it. I don't know what I call it. Some... <laughs> My idea was it was supposed to be really neat and quite structured and tidy because you overlook it from um, the Didn't deck of happen, the, the house. <laughs> no, because I always find gaps and you know, I'll just put something extra in the gap. Sometimes I have leftover plants from jobs and yeah. so the plants, I hate wasting a plant, so I just put it into my garden wherever the space is. And it's obviously for the kitchen too, so yeah, you Yeah, well, it absolutely. I come out and pick it every day, so we collect produce every single day for our meals every day, yeah. And I see you love collecting, recycling, claiming old material again too. I do, Vasily. These look like sieving boxes. Is that what you use to actually sieve all the soil out here, all the pebbles? That's a, I wish I had a thought of that, but no, I didn't. <laughs> well, I'm full of ideas. You should have given me a call. Um, Tell me, what is it? So these are um, old dip tins from... Dip. Tins. Yeah, I think they're called dip yep. tins. That's what we used to call them. So I grew like up the in... Like dip tab? Like a... No, don't worry. It's a stupid <laughs> joke. <laughs> so I grew up in um, Mildura in okay. country Victoria. Oh, country girl. Yeah, so these are great picking tins that used to get used. And what they used to do is they would be dipped into the solution to dry the grapes into sultanas. Wow, and how many? And, and you used to get paid by tin. So when I was a little girl, I used to pick grapes okay. with my dad. And you kept and all my the grandma. tins. Well, these have come from a family's friend's property who um, said I could use them. them. Yeah, and, and I have. thought, wow, I love That's them for a, a bit use. of history from home. That's a nice and edge. It breaks up the garden bed a little yeah, bit for you too. It does. Tell <laughs> me about your strengths. What, what are your strengths so in this I garden? So I can grow veggies. That's all I'm interested in. Anything edible. Oh, sweet. The rest you're, <laughs> you're born after my own heart. <laughs> the rest stomach, of the actually. plants in the garden <laughs> are yeah? here because my husband's put them here. <laughs> I don't touch them. I don't okay. care. I don't do anything So he's put all the fruit trees in here. Well, he... He, he, well, he planted them, them for he you. He planted them for me, but yeah. I'm learning about the fruit trees as I go. Like they're quite young; they've only been in for three yeah. or four years. That's so, okay. And um, yeah, I, into I really don't know very much about the fruit That's trees. Okay. I so. won't pick your brain today on the fruit <laughs> I'll trees. I'll pick your fruit. Okay, I'll pick you your pick brain. my fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like a sultana by the end of it. <laughs> All right. Now you have a background of gardening obviously you love your gardening but what's the actual title so the title that i use now for yeah. my everyday job is garden coach garden coach so yeah. you're a garden coach for those who have no gardening time yeah for busy mums so so I, do you actually go out and yeah, garden for them i do well i do i help them get started okay. and then i hold their hand for a year i work with them for a year on and off okay and um, go backwards and forwards to their garden and make sure that they can continue with growing that they don't just get this beautiful garden planted once mm -hmm. and get to harvest it once but they yep. learn to go through the seasons. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that for a year, okay. for the last year. Yeah. It's going well? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Well, if it's an example it's of job. what you're doing, <laughs> mate, it's doing a great job here. <laughs>
If you like Vasily's Garden, then you'll love the spring edition of Vasily's Garden to Kitchen magazine. Available at all good news agencies. Subscribe now at vasilysgarden.com. Hello folks, well indigestion, how terrible is indigestion when you get it? It can be extremely painful, very uncomfortable. Virtually from the mouth all the way through the anal passage as you digest the food, you assimilate it, and then you should eliminate it. But you get abdominal bloating, things like indigestion, painful acidic responses. Here is a wonderful answer. And again, drawing on the powers of folk medicine that has been around for literally 20,000 years. The one product pawpaw or you could use the red papaya either one the fruit and vegetables as medicine book actually has a big spiel on how effective this stuff is let's take some cubed pawpaw we've already done that for you so you can see we've cubed it we have a little bit of lemon peel see the lemon that we've got here and you'll notice that's the zest and the pith is very small amount we don't want that it's quite bitter and the juice of half a lemon so we just get some cube pawpaw juice of half a lemon put over it and mix the lemon with it put it together and eat it either before or after food. Now, everybody has different digestive enzymes. It's a matter of how you're comfortable, really. Most households would throw the seed away. Well, not anymore. What you're going to do is that you'll wash the seeds under the tap just to get that pawpaw off, and then just put it out on a paper towel and let it air dry until they're nice and crisp. That is a wonderful digestive aid. It assists that assimilation of food. So you can just put it in a jar, take it by the tablespoon, a little bit crunchy, put it through salads, assist the digestive system. But what about the skin that we normally throw away? No, save that skin. And when you have a shower, go there, get the skin and wash it all over your body. Wait for about five minutes or so and then wash it off. It stood the test of time for thousands of years. It's impressive the results that you're able to get with simple common garden variety pawpaw or the red papaya. It's just a matter of taste really for whatever you like. So until next time, find happiness in every moment. You won a trip to Italy because of your chicken and corn soup. I did. <laughs> I'm bloody amazed. Good on you. Congratulations. Thank you. So I entered a soup competition. <laughs> oh, it's a... And my recipe won, yeah. and um, it's now stocked on supermarket shelves. <laughs> And we won an amazing <laughs> trip to cooking school how, on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. How, it was how phenomenal. long ago was this? Um, it was about three years ago, four years ago. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So you get my special soup. Wait a Not second. many people I'll get be the that. judge of this, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I've had chicken soup. So what's in it? We got. So it's the stocks made from veggies in the garden. So it's so a, veggie it's a stock? homemade veggie, veggie stock. stock. Yep. Um, it's a free range chicken, yep. <laughs> sweet potato, yep. and corn, right. and um, just some herbs. Mm -hmm. And you've got to put the rocket pesto on top as so, well. So, okay, so I just yep. put a, just a spoon, spoonful. Mm -hmm. and you can and just stir, stir that. And stir that in. Yeah. Okay, like that. All right, here we go. Italy, eh? It's all right. <laughs> this is really nice. Thank you. So how long does it take you to actually prepare this? Do you make a lot of stock? Uh, I make the stock in advance. So usually when yep. I do a garden clean out, mm -hmm. I just have, um, <laughs> I have all the bits. So, and I just pre-make all the stock. So all the leftovers the go yeah. into a big pot. You yeah. boil them all up. Yeah. And there you go. Look at these capsicums. I love them. You've had them for a couple of years, you said? I have. So uh, generally I keep them in for two years. Yeah. Um, because and on the second year they tend to get more fruit and it's bigger fruit is what yes. I've found. What's wrong with the third year? Well, they generally, just, I often lose them in the third year. Oh, so do they? Okay, they curl over? They, yeah, they just don't seem to wait, make it through that next winter. Just you see my bucket? You your buckets. <laughs> so you obviously don't mop anymore. No. No, you're giving that <laughs> no up, No housework, eh? only no. garden. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Your inspiration is your children, your two, your two boys. Yeah, so I became really passionate about gardening and, yeah. and food as well. Mm -hmm. When my first son was born, mm -hmm. um, I was just that mother instinct came into play, I think, where I just wanted to make sure his beautiful, perfect little body got the very best food I could possibly give him. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I'd worked in a corporate job before that so I worked for some of Australia's largest organisations and I worked 
really long hours. Um, food was never a priority for me. It was like a must-do activity. Yeah. So when Body's I hungry, just feed it, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. and I never enjoyed cooking. I didn't. I, I never thought about food other than I'm hungry. I've got to eat. Okay. <laughs> so when my son came along, that just completely changed for me. You obviously love picking before they fully grow. Yes. Because what's going on in here, there's no possible way everything could be allowed to mature to its full glory. No, yeah. I pick every day. You do? Sorrel yeah, yeah. too? Yes. Yeah? Yep. So what it goes you... in salads. Yep. Mostly I use it in salads. And so I pick my lunch every day from this part. <laughs> you graze out here every morning. I do. <laughs> The best way to look after your plants is with Vasili's Easy Hand Spray. Order your sprayer now, available only at vasilisgarden.com. Hi guys, here's a simple and healthy way to cleanse your body while giving it a boost of energy at the same time, helping you feel fresh, alive and ready to tackle the day ahead. First, I'm adding a handful of wheatgrass, which is a natural liver cleanser and detoxifier. It's rich in iron and is very high in protein. Next, I'm adding a two centimeter piece of ginger, which is an anti-inflammatory. It's also wonderful at relieving digestive discomfort and pain. One small cucumber, which is naturally low in calories and improves the health of your skin. One apple, apples help make you feel full and keep you regular. And last but not least, one small piece of chili. Pour the juice into a glass and add the juice of half a lemon and stir well. Made by Kuving's Whole Slow Juicer. For this recipe and many more just like it, visit our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. See you next time. Yeah, well, my kids helped me. So when we moved to here, they were in the garden with me every day. Yeah. So as a family, we built this garden and they learnt about you know, growing their own food and they learnt about how the seasons work. Yeah. You've taken this past the family boundaries, haven't you? you have. It's not just with your own family now anymore. Yeah. You actually go outside and help others alike yes. who've got kids and, and are poor, time poor yes. to get out in the garden and you were an inspiration gardening coach, as you said. Thank you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it works? And it you, does. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, so, look. What are the experiences you find out there? What do you see when you meet other people? Is it similar to what you were experiencing when you first had a child? Um, are they looking for those opportunities or understanding of how to garden yeah. efficiently yes. and what to make and, and make the most out of their garden? They're, I think most people are just really overwhelmed with the amount of information that's out there and they just, you know, you go into a nursery and there's so many plants and I just think, oh my goodness, where do I start? It's really about making it very simple for yeah. people and working out how much time they've got you know, what sort of involvement and they want to spend in the garden. I'm happy to spend all day in the garden, yeah, but most them. people don't have that time. Yeah. So it's about making it easy for people. There's a little book there you want to show us. Yeah. Yeah, tell us about that. <laughs> so um, my book's called Grow Just One Thing and it's really about um, the journey that my family's been on and how starting to grow our own fresh food has changed the way that we approach it. So how we buy our food that we don't grow, um, how I cook the food and how our family lifestyle has changed. If you could only grow one vegetable or herb or plant in your garden, yeah. what would that be? Um, probably something like spinach because you can eat it raw or cooked. Okay. I tell people to choose the thing that they buy a lot of at the supermarket. Mm. So if there's one thing that you're constantly going to buy, so mm -hmm. if it's a herb or if it's lettuce, mm. um, do that, start yeah. with that. Any recipes in here that I need to learn about? Um, Favourite recipe? I don't know if this recipe is in here or not. Beetroot chips we love. Beetroot <laughs> chips, okay. <laughs> right. But every recipe um, comes about because it's it's become a family meal that we've we've yeah. enjoyed, yeah. and it's based on food that we've picked in the garden. From the garden, yeah, and it's all seasonal. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's a beautiful way, isn't it? Because you know what goes into your garden. Yes. Now, it's all about the groundwork, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. to get the plant to grow well, you need to have good soil, good mm -hmm. texture in the soil, life in the soil, microbes and uh, worms and so on. Yep. What do you do with your garden bed? How do you prepare your base? So I give it a bit of a um, replenish before the start of every season. Mm -hmm. So I've got a friend who has a farm that mm -hmm. she runs organically. So okay. I go to her farm and collect the cow poo. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and the sheep poo. You actually shovel it in? Yeah, I do. Good, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, so get bags of that. Yep. Um, straw. 
Straw? in summer. So, and that goes around all the paths with newspaper and stuff as well. Can I say, okay, we say sheep and cow poo. Mm -hmm. What's the quantity, what volume per square metre? Because some people may put one or two bags in a small area, that's, that's overkill. Yeah, yeah. What would you put? What's your um, mixing? Look, I don't, I don't measure, no. I, just throw, <laughs> I just throw it out. You sound like to my mum now. Just a little bit, just put a bit there, yeah, fill yeah. it up. Nice. That's it. Yeah. Um, you know, I can tell by the Texture. feel of the soil yeah. whether, it what it needs, needs and less. how the plants are going as well, whether it really And you obviously don't else. water a lot here because high it's prone for rain, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, we don't sure? usually get much. I've had to water in winter. Can I bring <laughs> the rain, did now. I? <laughs> Uh, it's spring, but it's not the first day of spring yet, no, is it? No, it's not nice. Wow. We should It'll move blow up to over in a minute. All right, just wait a minute. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. Let's go. <laughs> Healthy Habits Smoothies Book is now available at all QBD bookstores or online at vasiliesgarden.com. Ever thought about propagating your own seeds and thought it was too hard? Well, Hells have a great product called Smokewater Concentrate, and it's excellent for propagating your own seeds. And one of the best things to do, you can soak your seeds in the smoke water concentrate at a rate of 100 mils of concentrate to one litre of water. And what you do, you wait for maybe one or two hours, or if you're unsure, wait for the outer coating of the seed to swell. And then that means that it is now ready to plant. And soaking your seeds in the house smoke water concentrate, it just helps with a more uniform germination rate. It also helps with the difficult to germinate native species as well. And when propagating your own seeds, just make sure you do go out and purchase a high quality seed raising mix. Something like the Sea Greens Sea Raising Mix like this one here. Nice and light, which is perfect for propagation. Fill the tray up with this beautiful seed raising mix. Never use the garden soil from the garden because sometimes it can be a little bit too heavy. There we go, so we just level it out on the tray like so. Now we can plant the seeds. So we've got some pumpkin seeds here. And they've been taken for a couple of hours. You can just put your finger into the soil, just bury them maybe one centimetre down, a few centimetres apart, and within a week, these will be up, and then about a week or so after that, these will be perfect to plant out into the garden. And also, after planting your seeds, just give them a really good thorough watering in. Olives too, you're preserving olives. Do you preserve everything? I try to yeah. preserve as much as I can yeah. throughout the year. So these ones are in water with salt. Mm -hmm. Um, and these ones have been through that process and now they're just in olive oil. Ready so, to be eaten. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how long do you leave them in the water? Uh, you know, we kind of taste test them after about four weeks and then every week after that. So I have no idea what I'm doing with these. I've just okay. kind of popped them into popped them the bag in with salt. Okay. <laughs> and you haven't tasted them either, have you? Not yet. All right, no. well, well, let's do the taste testing. Uh, how long have they been in here? They've been in there, I would say about seven weeks, maybe eight seven weeks. weeks yeah, eight weeks, eight weeks. All right, I'm gonna get one from the bottom of the salt pile, <laughs> not on top. You go first. Mmm, they're delicious. So good. You got any feta cheese? Mm. <laughs> Do you want that? Okay. I'm not complaining. It's from the garden to the kitchen to my tummy. All right, so we do that. We do this. Have you eaten like a Greek? Mm, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So you, you go like this. Oh, I need bread. Get into that. Get into it. That's it. All of it. No, the whole thing. Not just a oh, little bit. Okay. That's it. Take the pip out mm -hmm. now. That's it. Now take a bite of this. Oh, you're feeding me. Yeah, okay. I'm feeding you. I'm teaching you how to eat like a Greek. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the stuff. You knocked that mm, out. Beautiful. Mm. There you go. From Eva Silly. Maresi. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. Hi. Hi. How are nice you? Nice to meet Good. you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Tom. Tom and? Joy. Joy. Nice to meet you. Now, what have we got here? The boys would like to show you something for silly. What's this? Let's they have a look at this. show you the kitchen garden book. There's some, there's some cards in here of yeah. veggies. Yeah. Where did you get this from? We made this. Yeah, you made this with Mum. That's fantastic. And what have we got in here? Cards. Oh, look at this. We've got spring, summer, autumn, winter. And what are they? Recipes? Yeah. Sauces. Oh. Sauces. Sauces. Do you have a favourite one in here? Yeah. What's that? 
broccoli. Bro you like broccoli? Oh, Mum told me about the gardening she loves doing out here. Look at this. So we've got a broccoli recipe, the plant, how it grows, when to harvest. This is fantastic, and you get a recipe with that. And yeah? there's this. And there, and what? Oh, is that a, oh, is that a card? So What's inside here? Seeds. Oh, seeds. Seeds. And you get seeds too. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah? Do you help Mum in the garden? Yep. Yeah? What do you like doing in the garden? You have to pee on the lemon tree. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now we're getting the truth. <laughs> the trampoline and the apple tree I like. We do flips and tricks on the trampoline. That's really good. Now these are available for everybody? Yeah, there's yeah. bigger ones and there's like little square ones. Um, little square ones too, little cards. Little cardboard. Little cardboard ones too. So anybody who wants to get into the garden has never done it before, they can get one of these little box. Uh, with all the, the cards inside and to learn how to plant what they like and when and make some recipes. Yeah. All right, well, I've got one recipe for you. I'm not sure if you've ever done this one before. It, it requires you to kick your legs around. See you next week.